here welcome back to cooking with ash so new year for those who live in the cold weather you know it's pretty much cold season flu season omicron season corona season so let's pray no one gets you know the omicron or um covid so let's pray we all stay away from that and um, if we pick up a little bit cold or flu you know those are things we can try to deal with so for that season, you know, we all need our hearty soup. And for me growing up, beef soup with barley is the best. And you know, our Guyanese add all sort of things to our soup. Some add provision to our soup. Some just make straight up beef and barley soup with a few, you know, minor twerks to it. Well, today I'm sharing my recipe for beef and barley soup and with all the other ingredients in it. So let's start off with our beef and here you know i have some nice beef with bone some nice short ribs and stuff like that cut up washed i already went ahead and add my green seasoning i also went ahead and add some fresh thyme and i'm gonna go in with all my seasoning everything i'm using will be listed in the description box below so look down there for all the ingredients add everything in and I'm gonna go in with my hand and massage everything in here nicely. And I'm gonna cover this and let it marinate for at least about an hour or so. An hour or so is good, longer if you want your preference on this. So that's it guys, see you in the next step. Guys, I break out my big karahi for this. Anytime I cook, cook up or soup, I always bring out this big karahi. As you can see, I add a little bit of oil and I'm gonna start searing my meat. So I add the meat to the oil. I'm looking for a nice char on the meat before, you know, I let it start cook with some water. I'm gonna go in and add some scallion, some cilantro and onion to this. So we're gonna give this a good mix and let everything combine well here. And I'm gonna go ahead and pop a lid on this and let the meat, you know, sear nicely and some of the juices start to release this is what our beef is looking like most of the water is um, completely observed and it's fried down nicely i'm gonna go ahead now and add some water to this and we're going to cover this and cook this until you see like you know the beef starting to get very soft that's when we're going to start adding other ingredients to our pot um, cover it enough water you know depending on your meat um, that's the amount of water you're going to um, use so you have to um, you know keep checking your meat I can tell you I'm putting like about four cups of water here right now but I'll keep checking my meat throughout to see if that is enough and if it's boiling so I'm gonna come back and show you the consistency we're looking for before we start add adding our other ingredients to the pot. While our beef is um, being you know boiling away getting soft these are the other ingredients I will be adding to my soup so I have here one yellow plantain or yellow plantain, right? One carrot and some celery, about two stalks of celery. Three um, corn, my kids love the corn in it. I have some barley. I have here some um, soup pasta, it's like pastina. This is what now it looks that this bad boy came up to a rolling boil, what I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna go ahead and grate some fresh ginger into here and this ginger helps like if you have like clogged up sinus and stuff like that guys this is perfect to help clear all that up you make the soup put it in your fridge and you take a bowl heat it up you know heat up a bowl every day and use it it helps clear up everything you can also add some black pepper here too you know depends on your spice tolerance and this is smelling so good that should do it there now i'm gonna go ahead and add my pack noodles and my pasta here and adding more flavor to this guys give this a good mix mix everything in nicely look how beautiful this is looking mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. to add our yellow plantains to this guys now that my soup is almost finished i'm going to start adding our dumpling or our dog i'm doing little wrong ones 
And what I basically do is um, put some oil in my hand and just cut it and dropping it. This recipe is already on my channel, so I'll just drop the link below for you guys. You know, some people do them long, some do them wrong. Whatever your preference here, you know, you just drop it. And how we know that they're finished is like when you drop them, they float up back. They plump up and float up back and that's when you know that they're finished. So I'm going to continue dropping these beautiful little babies in there. And, and I'm going to come back and show you what our finished product is looking like. So let's see. Voila! The finished product, guys. Everything is so plump up and nice. And this is what we're looking for. Ooh, look at all that rich goodness. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to go ahead and plate this up. And let's dig in. There you have it guys i went ahead and played this up and look how delicious this is looking i can't wait to dig in so i'm gonna go in first with my favorite and that is the dumpling cheers to you guys thank you so much for joining me today in the kitchen i hope you guys make this for your family especially now that we're you know if you're in cold weather this is the perfect recipe so thank you guys so much for joining me sending you all my love cheers